Explore is known to offer an exhilarating mix of outdoor activities and adrenaline pumping experiences. Nestled in the stunning Riviera Maya, Mexico, this isn't your everyday theme park. Join us in this video as we defy gravity, get swept away, oh my God. questioning life choices, <laughs> get ready for laughs, insights, and survival tips as we share our explore adventure. And if you're wondering if this is the right theme park for you, let's dive in. All the activity starts. You gotta work for your zip line first. <laughs> you gotta climb up. You can go as a single rider. <laughs> Our first ride. <laughs> but we decided to do a tandem. There are two circuits of seven zip line each. In total, they cover 2.1 miles of length. <laughs> After you finish your ride, you just get inside the staircase and you get up to your next ride. It's getting easy. I recommend not eating a lot of breakfast before you come here. Go! <laughs> We definitely had more for breakfast. <laughs> you can ride one circuit like we did. Or do both. They are different length and heights. 702 meters. The height is 405 meters. Yay! 45. Uh, 45. 45 meters. <laughs> we feel secure knowing that we are in good hands. As they consistently prioritize our safety. <laughs> How are you? Everything good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Crazy woman, where are you running? In between the towers are hanging bridges that you have to cross. Let's explore! <laughs> to complete both circuits, it may take up to two hours. Bye. It doesn't matter which supply and circuit you pick, they both end like this. It's a good idea to bring your swimwear with MJ. <laughs> Throughout the park, you can't miss this prominent sign. Green means it's available, yellow, there's a little bit of wave, and red means it's full. Get ready for an exciting jungle adventure with this amphibious vehicle. All right, we're about to ride through the jungle and its mysterious caves. Really? <laughs> that is so cool. It really feels like we are exploring. Hmm. I wonder if I can drive this. We go deeper into the jungle. There is a lot of bugs and mosquitoes. So don't forget to bring your sunblock and your mosquito repellent. Make sure it's the all natural one. Because they don't allow you and it will harm the environment if it's not. Yeah. 
ready for the next one? I'm ready! Here you'll find two different trucks, three miles long each. The one we picked had all kind of terrains and fun. I'm wondering how is the other truck? Finally the torture ended! <laughs> After all the excitement, we took a quick break. This is the best part, coffee. <laughs> Thank you! You're welcome. New ticket is included a free beverage, in fact, unlimited free beverage. And there is a bunch of water with taste of mango, agave, and a bunch of stuff. So nothing is really distracted. But besides that, they have a menu that you can ask from them. And we got a zip line, which is a bunch of goodies, but all I remember is a peanut butter. And banana. And banana. Okay, let's pick the hammock. I want this one. I don't know if you pick it yourself. Oh, okay. Oh. I guess they pick it for you. <laughs> can I get the mission? No, no problem. Thank you. You can spend the whole day here. Make sure you come before 9 because it closes by 5. So you can enjoy the entire park. Loose shoes are not allowed for this activity. Unlike the previous zip lines, you won't have any harness on this one. So sit back and enjoy the hammock. <laughs> you just went into my face. <laughs> Time to eat. My favorite part of the day. <laughs> oh yeah, look. We have pasta, some rice, chicken, more rice, <laughs> and maybe tacos. Oh, your favorite. They have mashed potato. Thin crust pizza. Oh my. They got so many choices. Desserts. Yeah, everything you can think of. As part of the package, it's an all-inclusive, so all you can eat. Very good. Thin sauce on the mashed potatoes. Best. And most importantly, we have this. Whoa. This is where your ice cream comes from. Oh. The creamy poop of a mystic unicorn. <laughs> you can purchase a picture package and inside your helmet is mounted a chip. So when you come to one of these picture monitor, you can see your pictures and also you will allow you to download later the pictures. That's it's very it. cool. It's unlimited. And because it's unlimited... Often going from attraction to attraction, you have to go through the caves. And MJ is saying the caves are 16 million years old. And that can tell you why. Oh. <laughs> now we have proved that 60 million years ago, they have the map figured out. <laughs> <laughs> Everything here is magical and beautiful, but just look, don't touch. Stop! Because this has been preserved and we want to keep it preserved for our future generation. 65 million years ago, a meteor crashed here in the Yucatan Peninsula, causing the dinosaur extinction. As a result, a massive system of underground rivers and caverns was created. And this is exactly where we are right now. Prehistoric river with fresh water. Oh my god. Ooh. The water feels quite cold. 
<laughs> For the water swim in the caves, you have two options. There is 25 meters, which takes 10 minutes, and there is a long route for 350 meters, which takes about half an hour. We're gonna go for the test drive for the short one. All right, that's all cabronies. Guess what we're gonna do now? Change of plans. It's too crowded on a short one. So we'll try to do the long one. It's just us. MJ, me and you. So if you're wondering how deep it is, well, I'm 5'10 and sometimes I touch the ground, sometimes I don't. It's rocks, it's a cave, but the floater helps a lot. <laughs> I need the floater. <laughs> If you are not committed to do the full length of the long one, there is several exit points that you can exit on, and this is one of them. I really love how it's the nature all these stalagmites are growing here, and you just swim around them and enjoy. Are there stalactites or just stalagmites? I don't know what's the difference. Stalactites grow down from the cave ceiling, while stalagmites grow up from the cave floor. Yeah. I'm not sure how about the short one, but the long one absolutely worth it. I do recommend doing the short one first if you are not sure if you want to swim or if you're claustrophobic. Unlimited drinks. I got the caverna. It has banana and mango, among other things. And I got the explorer. It has apple, honey, milk. I want to try it. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my god, it's delicious. I like mine better. Let me try yours. Okay, mine's okay. <laughs> I dare you! <laughs> okay, I had to be brave too. That's right. Let's move on. Every part of this park makes you feel like an explorer. Every part of this... Every part of this park makes you feel... Every part of this park makes you feel like an explorer. <laughs> Every part of this park makes you feel like you're an explorer. If swimming isn't your preference, the raft offers a great alternative for exploring the caves. All the way down, please. And in the last step, you have to turn around. It follows a separate circuit from the underground swimming area. <laughs> so this one right here also has a short and a long one. Short one is 20 minutes, the long one is 30 minutes. I think we're the only one who picked the long one, and we have it all to ourselves. Because yeah. on the short one, it was quite crowded. It's actually very tricky to maneuver this raft, so I'm pretty sure if it's a lot of people, probably it gets traffic -y. Hey, are you gonna maneuver it or...? Wow! I don't think I've done anything quite unique like this. Last one, it's the underground expedition. Many people miss this one, and I wonder why. <laughs> Don't skip the underground expedition. It's an exciting mix of walking through the caves with crystal clear waters, navigating a jungle path, and even enjoying an easy slide. Sit down. You ready? You can go. Okay. Yeah. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Ah. Woo! Yahoo! <laughs> Uh oh. Most of the time we can finish here, but okay. it was not bad. I, I see. Like, I swear. <laughs> yeah, I see. You're here. So cool. Nobody else is here. Oh, there is one behind us because it's almost 5 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. And the reason behind is because it's almost 5 o'clock. We're still trying to make to the amphibia. MJ really wants to drive it too. Hmm. I wonder if I can drive this. Right now it's 4. 52. The park closes in eight minutes, and our goal is to make to next ride that someone told us it's more than 10 minutes walk. So let's do it. If you wanna do some sports, come here before the close of the park. There's no people. It's only me and MJ usually running. This park also has a Fuego, which is the night one. They're getting ready because they turn on the torches. Oh. <laughs> that was super fun. I was not supposed to drive that long, but <laughs> I guess it happened that way and I'm glad. I drive very well, especially here. <laughs> she does. <laughs> Leave us a comment below if you'd like to see Fuego next time. <laughs> we don't live in Mexico, so Escaret family, we are open for your invite. A brand new activity featuring 5-in-1 water slides wasn't open during our visit. But chances are, by the time you're watching, it's up and running. Make sure to explore it and share your thoughts in the comments below. We are eager to hear about your experience. If you enjoyed this video and would like to follow our travels, consider to subscribe. This was Victor and MJ. Thanks for watching.